Hi, today we're going to talk about the definition of a function. So we're going to answer the question, what is a function? So let's start with the textbook definition. So the textbook says a function is a correspondence between the first set, called a domain, and a second set called the range, such that each member of the domain corresponds to exactly one member of the range. Okay, now that might seem um, confusing. Um, and the big idea here is we have two different sets. We're gonna call the first set the domain and the second set called the range. And we're gonna match up each thing from the domain with just one thing in the range. So here's kind of the main idea. We have two different sets like I talked about. So set one here where we're gonna take things from um, is called the domain. And set two where, that we're gonna use as our answers that we're gonna match them to is called the range. And what's really important about a function is that each x is matched with only one y. So Sometimes they talk about functions like a machine. You're going to put an x value into a machine, put something from the domain in, and you're going to get one answer out, one thing from the range. So let's look at kind of a real life example. So thing one we saw on uh, the page before, let's say he's going to college, and here's his transcript from a semester. He took four courses, Math 080, Bio 100, English 111, and Psychology 100, okay? And each of those classes, he earned a grade. He earned a B plus in Math 080, an A in Bio, a C in English, and a B in Psychology. So what we can think of our function here is we can think of a function where you take the courses are the first set, the domain, and you match each course with their grade. So here, for example, we match 080, with the grade in that class, B+. Plus. Okay, we'd match the Bio 100 with the A, the English 111 with the C, and the Psychology 100 with the B. And the important thing here, and the reason that this is a function, is because you can only get one grade per class. Okay, so if we wanna talk about our words, the domain and the range, the domain would be the list of the classes of the courses he took. That's our first set. So Math 080, Bio 100, English 111, and Psychology 100. And when we list out a domain, we normally put these little these squiggly brackets, and it's just a set, and that's uh, mathematically how we list. A set is just an object, a collection of things. And so here we're saying this collection, we just put the little curly brackets, and then we list each of the things that was in that first set. And then the range would be a list with these little curly brackets of each of the things we got out, each of his grades. Okay, now let's give an example of something in real life that might not be a function. So here we have a list of students, a group of students. We're going to consider that our domain or what could be our domain. And then what we're going to match them to is their major. So here we have a list of majors, accounting, nursing, digital media design, the associate of science degree, and human services. Okay, so let's say we matched um, each student with any major that's on their transcript. Okay, so what do we see here? We see that Jacqueline was a digital media design major, Rob was an accounting major, Tim was in human services, and then Elizabeth was a nursing major and an associate of science degree. So that causes a problem because remember our one rule about a function was that each thing from the domain could only be matched with one thing in the range. So since Elizabeth has two majors, more than one thing, more than one output, it is not a function. So this would not be considered a function. Now, normally in algebra we'll be dealing with things with numbers. So sometimes we might just list our numbers in a table. So here we have our first set of numbers, the thing from our domain, one, two, three, four, five, and a second set, and the rows show what they're matched to. So here we're saying one is matched with six, two is matched with seven, three is matched with eight, four is matched with nine, and five is matched with 10. So the question is, is that a function? And the answer is yes. Since each thing in the first set is only matched with one thing here, then it is a function. And we can list out the domain in the range the domain is just going to be a list of this first column, the things in the first set. 
and the range is a list of the things in the second column. And again, we just use the curly brackets to say they're a set, and we're just listing those numbers. Let's look at one more example like this. So here, in our first set, we have three, four, and six. We have three matched with one, three matched with seven, four matched with two, and five matched with 11. And you might notice that we have something different here. Three is matched with both one and seven, and that causes a problem. Our rule was that each thing from the first set could only have be matched with one thing in the second set. So here, since three is matched with one and seven, this is not a function. Now we have one more simple way that we can um, list some matchings, and here we list them as ordered pairs. So here we're gonna say seven is matched with one, 16 is matched with five, and 12 is matched with negative 51. Okay, so the X's are our domain, and the Y's are what they're matched with, our ranges. And we'll look at three problems like this. So let's look at just A here. So A, we have seven matched with one, 16 matched with five, and 12 matched with negative 51. We wanna know, is that a function? And the answer is yes. Since each X only shows up once, is only matched with one number, it's a function. So our domain, we're gonna list out the X coordinates, seven, 16, and 12. And if you want to write them in order, 7, 12, 16, that's fine. The order doesn't really matter here. We're just talking about a set. And then the range are the y coordinates, 1, 5, and negative 51. Okay, let's look at another one. So B here, let's go back here. B, we had 1 matched with 1, 2 matched with 4, 1 matched with 3, and 7 matched with 12. And as you heard me talking, we had two different things that one was matched to. One was matched with one, and one was matched with three. And that's a problem. One can't be matched up with two things, so this is not a function. Okay, let's go back and look at C. C, we have negative one matched with six, three matched with six, and eight matched with nine. Now you might be a little uneasy because here we have two sixes in the y coordinates, but that's okay. Remember our rule for a function was that each x was only matched with one y. So we only care does the x show up with more than one y. The y's can show up more than once. So this is a function since each x was only matched once. So our domain are the x coordinates, negative one, three, and eight. And our range, we don't have to list six twice, just six once and nine. Okay, so that's the very beginning of functions, and uh, you're now ready to start studying algebra.